what is going on guys designers lodge here and today i'm bringing you a new tutorial um this tutorial um i'll be showing you how to create this effect um it's using nitro plus um atome and repex and this creates this really new outcome and it's a style which has been going on for quite some time so um i'll be showing you how to make that so um first things first um you want to go into your cinema 4d and you want to grab your lightroom and once you've done that, you want to go ahead and import a logo. I'll just grab mine. Um, um, okay, so I'll just choose the I'll just use this. I'll just use this. The day text logo. And I'll just do the usual extrude nerves. Also, um, to instead of just dragging it, you can just click on the path and hold shift, and then just drag the extrude nerves, and you'll enable it to become easier. I should say. Okay, so once you've got that done, you want to put the sizes of both of them to um, 80. And the caps to fill a cap, and the end cap to fill a cap as well. And by and if you guys watch a lot of my tutorials, you'll know that it's just one all the time. So um, once you've done that, you want to go ahead and drag a atom array uh, by uh, duplicating both of these layers, Control C, Control V, and then grab atom array and press Control and just drag that towards the bottom. And you want to um, grab the extrude number to atom array and do that for the second one as well once you've done that you want to highlight both of them and you want to click on cylinder radius to 1 and your speed radius to 2 and you want to drag a which material I'll go and use a, a red glow and once you've done that um, your duplicated layers, Control C, Control V again, and you want to hide the um, original ones by clicking on this little circle here. Hold left click and just drag down. Hold left click again and just do it until it goes red. Until you can't see it, that means it's not um, in the view. So highlight both of these. Go to Python plugins, or if or it should be in your plugins folder here, but for me it's here. So my uh, quality to extreme and your pieces to 50. No, not 50, 100 I think it was, yeah, 100 and click fracture. Okay, so once you've done that, you want to you wanna go ahead and then you want to swap these two materials and you want to drag which material should we use? I'll just use this. Just delete all these. And just do that. And you and drag these little things right to the pongs right to the front. And then you wanna highlight both of them. And you wanna open up both of them and you want to open, open up both of them which are the main pieces and before you do that you want to go to more graph and then fracture and then your pieces you'll, you've got a hundred so you want to drag all of this into the fracture and you can then delete it because you don't need it anymore and your next piece do the same thing as well grab all the hundred pieces into the fracture So once you've done that now, make sure you got the fracture highlighted, go to more graph effector and then random and you'll see it scrambles up and you want to change the strength to 10 
and your parameter to 20 the just the X and the scale um, you want to change to 1 and then Y to 1 and the X to 1 as well and the former you can change to object and then you can say inside and then you can then just drag it upwards and I'll just make sure it's aligned in the window So I'm just gonna position my text. Okay, that looks perfectly fine. So now I'm gonna go and add a material on top of it. so once you've got that done you want to go ahead and the um, materials that you duplicated um, you want to just open it up and uh, both of them which have got the paths you want to drag the paths out and do the same thing for the other one and delete the extrude nodes you duplicated now go to plugins and reaper x and then press ctrl and drag downwards to duplicate it and then drag in your first path drag in your second path and then you want to highlight both of them and you want to change the strands well starting off with the coils I'd say 14 wait I'll leave 50 for the moment and the radius you want to change to 2 <coughs> and the strands to 1 and the distance to like 20 and your coils For the singular one, I will do 15 or 20, and the other piece, I'll try 60. Okay, so that looks alright. So, uh, for um, you can do it individually the coils. Um, my first setting for one of the coils is 20 coils and radius is 2, strands is 1, distance 20, and the second one is 90, 2, 1, 20. You can do it individually, you can do it like this. Now, the next thing you're going to do is grab a atom array, duplicate that, control them, and just drag down and just drag your Reaper exit into it and now you wanna highlight both of you both of them and you wanna change the cylinder radius to uh, just keep it at 2 and the speed radius to 2 so cylinder radius to 3 Yes, yeah, so you see the radius is two, speed radius is three. So once you've done that, you want to go ahead and grab a material on top of that as well. I'll just add some glow. I'll grab another material from my other light room. Um, I'll just I'm just gonna change up the materials real quick. 
and let's add Okay, and now I shall render that out. I'm doing good for time. Now, guys, um, this is a really good style to um, incorporate into your backgrounds, and I'm hoping to do a background uh, based on this style to show you guys and create some really good outcomes. Also, in my portfolio, I've got a recent BG which I made using the, using this style. So um, you can check it out in my portfolio. So yeah. So while this renders, guys, uh, I'll just pause the video and I'll be back once the render. So yeah, guys, I'm back, and as you can see, the render's done. It's going giving it a really nice outcome, and hope you guys can do some something cool with it. And um, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and uh, be sure to um, give any ideas on anything else you want. And yeah, I hope to do this as a background as well, so um, using the style, so yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.